This is it. Today, at the end of this video, after months of work and stress, Zadiko T Co. is going on sale. Everything I've been doing, months of work, several videos, a blown budget, bizarre commercials, has all been leading to this moment. In this many minutes, my tea at Zadiko.com is going on sale. What are the decisions that brought me here? Here we go. For the past few months, I've been working to create a tea company from my home. And today, I get to visit the production facilities in person for the first time to taste the final flavors that I've been crafting and see how production is gonna work. Then I need to make the website, get the vinyl designs, and by the end of this video, I am going to be ready to launch my tea. All right, we're here at Art of Tea. You see this? A turtles. Turtle statue. This is a sign from a god I don't believe in. Let's get some tea. You know what's amazing? If you think about it, we've been working on this project very remotely. Yeah. Right? We, I haven't seen you since we started this. With your concept of like, how can I create a company uh -huh. and do it even remotely in my living room? And we've been we've been doing that. That's pretty <laughs> we've awesome. We've done it. Yeah. What is the process of creating a new tea blend? It's been totally unique depending on who we're working with. Now, when people are drinking that tea, hopefully it brings out their inner Zach. Okay. There's a little tiny me inside all of you. You don't know it yet, but I will escape. We're about to enter our production area. We see it sort of as a sacred space. So there's two things that need to happen. One is we gear up, so we wear hair nets. If we're blending, we put our gloves on, apron, protective gear. Also, you know, tea is grown in this beautiful, pristine environment. Sun, mist, rain, earth. So if we can add some sort of sacredness back to that experience through the music that we play, through the way that we're blending, the mindfulness that we're putting into our products, hopefully it can impact someone's life in some positive way. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. <laughs> wow. Every bin, I'm getting hit like boom, boom, boom by a different <laughs> smell. I wanna live in here, are you kidding me? This is the first time that we're together, not on Zoom, so people can realize how much shorter I am than Steve. <laughs> we're gonna be tasting the individual ingredients one by one. Before we start tasting, I wanna give you your first uh, tea tasting spoon. Tea tasters around the world, oh they become very enamored and close with their spoon, so just, hand bend it. So here's your spoon. Wow. Oh my God, thank you. Wow, oh my God. I can see my reflection in it. I made this tea both because I love tea, but also I needed it. A few years ago, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called ankylosing spondylitis. It leaves me stiff, it leaves me in pain, it really hampers my ability to sleep. So I wanted a breakfast tea that gave me energy, but also that had anti-inflammatory properties that was soothing, comforting. So we have Zach's breakfast, which is a wake-up tea. From Hish and Chill, I deal with anxiety, I have stomach problems, I needed something delicious that would just get my body feeling good. We're gonna scoop the tea in here, and then you're gonna put some inside your spoon and <sighs> slurp. I found out that there's some people in the audience who cannot stand the sound of slurping. So we will replace all slurping sounds with another nature sound. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. That black tea tastes nothing like what it does in the final blend. That's the beauty of making a blend is that you can create all the different nuances and flavor profiles that we're gonna pick up from the different base ingredients. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think of like a cherry skin. Cherry skin? Yeah. Yeah, my palate's not that advanced yet. I'm gonna say, wow, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> How have you guys managed to stay safe and stay producing tea here under COVID-19. Great communication. Yeah. yeah, constant and great communication. We have our different stations, so every person is at a minimum of six feet apart, maintaining safe social distancing. But we've upped our sanitation requirements, as well as all of our PPE, our protective gear. So what, the tea comes from up there? Yeah, boom, we boom. climb up the ladder, we, we dump it in the hopper. It shakes, you're absolutely right. It goes through these two layers that shakes the tea, and then you get a perfect measured amount of an ounce. A couple months back, I tweeted out asking what your favorite flavors were, and overwhelmingly, you guys wanted mint, you wanted chamomile. So I decided to give you both. Well, these got so big. Yeah, look at how much it opened up, right? There's so much more volume when it comes to these botanicals. Mission Chill is peppermint, spearmint, 
lemongrass, chamomile. Chamomile and mint both have properties where they help neutralize the acidity in the stomach. Chamomile has those natural adaptogen-like qualities that help to calm and balance the senses. Some ingredients, like our mint for example, we have to buy two years out. Just because it's that good? It's that phenomenal. There's a higher amount of oil content that naturally exists within the mint. Woo! Oh my god, that is a punch. So now this is the chamomile. I mean, it smells like dandelion. To make it oatmeal. Oatmeal? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've been saying for years I don't like chamomile. I like that. But you're absolutely right. You don't like shitty chamomile. I don't like shitty When you chamomile. have fresh harvested, dynamically sourced chamomile, it's a world of difference. First business decision, I decided to make loose leaf teas. So in order to have um, more polyphenols, flavonoids, natural oil content, health proponents, and overall flavor, delicious experience, you get that with loose leaf tea. Gotta go right to the source. Yeah. Now presenting how to brew the perfect cup of loose leaf tea. If you're new to the loose leaf tea world, you might be thinking, this seems really hard. Can't I just brew a little bag of tea? Grow up, you baby! No, I'm just kidding. Loose leaf tea is actually very easy and super rewarding. Step one, select your leaves. Did you know that most tea bags have microplastics in them, which releases into your body, releases into the environment, and is nasty. You know, have fun with this. Open it up, sniff it. Oh, yeah. Let this be part of your morning meditation. Step two, prepare the strainer. You take a teaspoon measure or just a spoon. I have this steeper, we got this one. Or you can just drop it in the cup. You good to go. Step three, steep the tea. For our teas, we recommend 206 degrees, but honestly, whatever you decide, you're gonna be fine. You're not gonna this up, I promise. And in three to five minutes, you will have a delicious cup of tea. Maybe use that time to relax, to reflect, stare out the window, and think about how good life could be. If only we learned to take scientists seriously. <laughs> Step four, enjoy. So you being a music fan, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine you have guitar, you have mic, you have strings, and you have drums. That's a cool sounding band. Right, <laughs> so all of them together at the right ratio, right? Because if you have too much violin, you can't hear the vocals. Or if you have too much vocals and the, car the guitar doesn't come through, it's not gonna make a good song. Okay, I'm gonna now try this all blended together. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it is so good and it's so crazy now understanding how the different flavors, I, I can hear the notes yeah. and the instruments. That's awesome. Because the roundness from the Assam Black Tea is very much there. You get a little bit of the bite, but not the flavor from the ginger. The sarsaparilla gives it, it's almost like a, a, a root beer tea. Turmeric though has a lot of really wonderful properties. It's anti-inflammatory, it's earthy, could be yeah. a bit of um, crispness to it uh -huh. as well. To me, it's a beautiful wake up tea. The perfect balance of tea without needing to add milk, or sugar or any sort of sweetness to it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. My tea samples are here. My final product has arrived, finally. Oh my God. Boom. Here it is. Wow, look at it, it's real. I got a real product. This is so exciting. Look, Bowie's excited, he wants it. What do you, what's your plan? What, what do you think is gonna happen here? Starting with Zach's breakfast, we went with this nice sand color. And then we have Mission Show, a beautiful mint green. You'll notice between the two, this one's a fluffier tea, so it looks bigger in the bag. I did this, wow. Ah, I'm so excited, yeah. Let's find a home for it. Darling, I love it. I love it. Oh, you're beautiful. Yes. Now, can you put your head like here? Yes. Perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> Zadiko. Yeah. Also, I have hundreds of these bags and stickers, and I'm going to be spending the next several days watching TV and just applying stickers. If you're lucky, you might get one that I did. I did get bored while I was doing it, so I decided to start signing a couple of them. Hope you guys don't mind. Now that the product is in, I need to figure out beauty shots and I need to make my website. Get up, I'm taking a photo. 
This whole thing began as a $500 <laughs> challenge, and while I've already spent beyond that, I want to keep the spirit of it alive and show you that you can take really cool product shots for free on your own. I've been looking online for inspiration, and I found that some people just use curtains and sheets, just things that you have in your house, just anything that creates a cute looking background. And I'm playing into my strengths here. I know Photoshop, I'm good at Photoshop. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I hate that, Zach, I hate it. So for you at home, you know, work with what you know how to do. I didn't like this professionally. I just use sunlight. I'm just affecting the way that the different layers look. Whoa, that was an accident and what a happy one it was. So I had this photo of me holding it over a plant. I wanted it to be more vibrant, more funky. I cut the hand out. Okay, maybe I add a gradient to the background. No, not enough. And so I turned that into this. Boom, I think it's really cool looking. This took me 20 minutes just playing around. So now I get to take all of this and put it onto my website. This series is designed to share everything I'm learning and I've been learning from incredible entrepreneurs over at Shopify Compass. So if you're thinking about starting a business or growing your business, go check out their step-by-step -step guidance. You'll thank me later. Over at Shopify, I'm going to make my website. Previously, I made Zatico.com just so I had something to launch. Well, I did this in about five minutes, but for selling stuff, I want this to look sleek, sexy, professional. So in the spirit of my original $500 challenge, I'm gonna go for something free. You can browse by industry, so here are some for food and drink. Down here, have great for small inventory. I only have two products to launch, so I'm gonna start there. You can look at it on mobile or on desktop. Going back to my analytics page, I can see that over 60, almost 70% of my page visits are coming from mobile. So as I design, I'm gonna prioritize that. This is what I'm working with so far. It's still a work in progress. And I want this website to be super easy to navigate, super easy to use. You land photo, product, immediately. Got my socials down here. You can stay up to date. I will update this video. It's great. I think I'm ready to launch. <laughs> Jesus, Bowie. Okay, everybody, thank you for coming to the Zatico Tico launch press conference. Uh, do we have any questions? Zach, Zach, over here, over here, right there. How much does the tea cost? Great question. The tea costs $20 plus shipping and handling. I fought really hard to get the best possible tea for the best possible price. Uh, ooh, guess back there. My good dude, inquiring minds would like to know, is the tea loose leaf? Yes, it is loose leaf. Better quality, better bang for your buck, more delicious. Oh, sweet. You're in control. It's great. Uh, back there. Oh, uh, does the tea ship internationally? You bet it does. Oh, wonderful. Shipping was incredibly important to me, getting something that is environmentally friendly and affordable. You ready for this? Shipping is 372 domestic, 450 international. What? That can't be right. So cheap. It is right. We're just that awesome. Yeah. And even better, many of the proceeds go to charity. Well, can I feel good about buying this? Where does the tea come from? I know that this is really interesting to a lot of you, so I'm gonna get closer. Uh, our teas are organically grown in small farms and co-ops across the world with the aim of providing families in developing countries a fair price for their work. Okay, that is enough questions for now. Thank you so much for your time. I got a website to publish. All right, take care. So if your customers know that this yeah. is hand blended when they order it, there's a delicate process that's made specifically for them. It's not just sitting on a shelf. It's right. not waiting in a supermarket for them to pull. It is the freshest blend possible that they're able to get anywhere. I guarantee it's gonna be worth the wait. I want to make as much as possible and get as many to as many people as possible quickly, but we also wanna make sure that we are keeping the highest quality that yeah. is worthy of this Attico name. No matter what happens next, I just wanna thank you guys for following me on this journey the last couple months, for your support, for your encouragement. Zatico.com is going live in three. Whoa! In three, two, one! Again, in three, two, one, click. <gasps> Zatico.com is live right now. Go catch some tea. I put a lot of love and passion into this project. I'm so proud of it and really hope that you love it as much as I do. I've prioritized quality first over everything. So if we do sell out today, drop your email. We're going to be restocking really soon. You'll be the first to know. I promise. I appreciate your patience. Got one more episode to recap my whole journey. Got a few surprises, but until then, enjoy the tea. I'll see you Monday. Bye.
to make a wager. If I can sell more than you during my launch, I will join you for an entire Eat the Menu episode. Wow, that's, I don't think your stomach can handle that. I, mine barely can. 